Uh, let's start na po. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, today, I am Jewel Amaro. Uh, and together with Micaela, Michelle, and Jamar, today we are going to share our short group presentation. Now, let we discuss the word formation process. Word formation process it is also known as morphological process. It, tell, it tells us how new words are being formed Word formation process is a process in which new words are formed by modifying the existing terms or completely uh, changing those words. Ayan. Uh, according to our research, po, um, word formation process is the responsible on how new words are being formed or being created. It has nine essential, nine essential of uh, word formation process. The first one is derivation. Derivation is the most common method. It is adding prefix and suffix. And to refresh our mind, uh, prefix and suffix is a group of letters na ina-add natin that we added that appears at the beginning and endings of the words. Ayan. Uh, may nakatouch dito na table. Uh, the first column is the common common prefix and suffix. And for example, of common prefix, nan, un, in, il, ear. And when we add the prefix nan to our root word sense, it became nonsense. And yung prefix nagapil siya sa unahan sa unahan mismo ng sita nagad tayo. When we say naman uh, sa fix, sa dulo, sa ulihan ng salita. Ayan, for example, ng sa fix, common sa fix, er, or, or. Ayan, when we add the uh, sa fix, er, sa root word na teach, nagiging teacher. At yung uh, sa fast, nagiging faster. Next is the back formation. Back formation. While derivation is adding a uh, prefix and suffix, derivation is the removal or the reducing of affixes. Yan. For example, uh, the word television. When we remove the suffix ion or ion, it will be it will become televised. Televised, yeah, and that's what we call back formation. Next is conversion. Conversion is when a word goes from being in one word class to another. Ayan, hindi tayo nag-aad ng kahit na nung element pagdating sa conversion. Kumbaga, from noun, nagiging verb. Example, yung uh, email. Yung email, you sent email and tomorrow I will email you. Yan, nag ano na, nag iba from noun to uh, verb. The next is the compounding. Compounding is a it is a combining of two existing words to create a new word. Ayan, it is written in three different ways. The first one is open compound, second is the solid compound, the third is hyphenated compound. When we say uh, open compound, uh, there's a space between compound words. For example, toy store. Toy store. As we notice, those words are written separately. Toy store and they and there's a space between those words. Ayan. Toy store, okay, bang salita. But when uh, when we combine it, it creates uh, one word. One word, another word, and another meaning. The next one is uh, solid compound. The solid compound, uh, there's no space below space or hyphen. Ayan. For example, homework. Homework is magkaibang salita, pero uh, pinagsama, pinagcombine. Kaya eh, nakabuo tayo ng another words and another meaning. The next one is the hyphenated compound. 
hyphenated compound, there's a hyphen written with a hyphen. For example, mother in law, mother hyphen in hyphen law. Yan, mother, mother in law. Magkakaiba ang salita. Pero dahil pinag-combine, nakabawa tayo ng panibagong salita, which is mother in law. Ayan, we already have four essentials for uh, for word formation process. Derivation, back formation, conversion, and compounding. Next is clipping. Micaela? So, what is clipping? So, clipping is involves with the shortening of a longer word of more than one syllable is reduced. Example, math which is clip from a mathematics. Example include from bro, from brother, and so on and so forth. Like champion is equal to champ. And next is abbreviation. Next one is blending. When we say blending, it is a combination of two separate forms to produce a single new term is also present in the process called blending. Example for blending is smoke plus fog is equal smoke. The next one is abbreviation. When we say abbreviation, it is another famous and widely used form formation method used to shorten a word or phrases. Example for abbreviation, junior is shortened for JR, Mr. shortened for MR, and so on and so forth. The next one is acronym. When we say acronym, it is a popular word formation process in which an intentionalism is pronounced as a word. Example for acronym is CD is to and now compact this and RAM to random access memory. The next one is borrowing. Michaela. Okay, I think uh wala si Michaela. Borrowing. Um, okay. That borrowing is in linguistic is also known as lexical borrowing is the process by which a word from one language is adapted for use in another. The word is borrowed is called borrowing. A borrowed word is a word or loan word. Example types of houses. Um, the borrowing words in houses like castle, mansion, bungalow, and so on and so forth. And this is the last words in types of new words. Oh, okay. Next slide, please. So for letter C, how many new words are created every day? To answer the question, how many new words were created every day based on our research and what we've read, currently there are around 14.7 new words created every day in every 98 minutes. For letter D, what are some mechanisms in making new words? There are 13 ways a new word can be created. I'll just give some examples. The first one is the ephoneme. Words named after a person or a place. Ephonemes are by definition of nouns. Ethonyms is basically used by a very popular persons or peoples who has an attribute to the society, such as scientists and many more. The second one is repurposing. Actually, when a word gains a completely new meaning, it is as simple as adapting a specific word to be used in different purposes. Next slide, please. For letter E, which word formation process is the source of the English word modem? The answer is blending. Basically, new words are formed or created through combining two different words and making it as one. It has two parts, which is the modulation and the modulation. Modulation first. It is the process of encoding words or information in different transmitted signals. While the modulation, it is the enhanced word or enhanced form of modulation, it carries the idea of the word and transmit it to the signal, and the signal will filter the word to create a new set of meaning. 
that's the end of our short group discussion about how new words are formed. Thank you for listening and have a great day ahead. Thank you.